Hey there, Leslie Sansone Williams coming to you today from the Cover Letter Secrets class, the Paralegal Inner Circle class, and the Legal Break-In book. Now, today is video number five of seven, Living Out Your Calling, and this is one of my favorite topics to talk to paralegal students about on my Paralegal Coffee Talk page or on my YouTube channel, Paralegal Career Mastermind. Um, it's so important to go into something that suits you, suits your personality. In my book, Legal Break-In, I go into the how important it is to find that fit. And what do I mean by that? Well, the area of law that fits your personality and the duties that you'll be performing as a paralegal. This is an, um, a career where it requires high organization and monitoring of deadlines. And we use certain tools to do that to help us. So if you see yourself in that kind of position, then this may be your calling. But the more you investigate different areas of law, then the closer you'll get to figuring out what area of law should you be in truly. It may not be family law just because you had to use a family law attorney in your life and you know a lot about it. You know a lot about the documents you had to fill out and all of that. But that may not be the fit for you. So really investigate this. Go on Google. Look at what the paralegal duties are for blank. Family law, business law, real estate law, different types of real estate law, personal injury. There are different types of personal injury law. Another subset of that is automobile accident law. So really take time to do your research. I had no idea when I started out there were hundreds of areas of law. There weren't jobs open in all of those areas, so I took what was open. And then I discovered what I liked and what I didn't like, and what was my calling and what was not my calling. So what are you being pulled to? Not just the paralegal career, but the area of law. And what if you can't get in that in the beginning? You take what you can get, you learn all you can, and then you move to that position, okay? So, are you able to say that this is your calling, the paralegal career in general? But I don't want you to generalize, I want you to get specific as to where you wanna work and doing what. The biggest question is why for you. You have specific, unique giftings that you've been given by God. For me, it was an organization. I had to work at that. But my gifting was working with the clients. I can't help, air quotes, help the client in the area of law because I'm not a licensed attorney. But I can help them by apprising them of upcoming hearings, being kind to them. That's how I help them, okay? Um, make sure you get that straight in your mind as to what you'll be doing as a paralegal. So as you discover more gifts that you have, I've discovered more along the way. That's your life journey. But what are your giftings now? Write them down in a notebook. Write them down. Are you called to this career? Write down why you're called to the paralegal career and specifically the areas of law that you think you're called to. The last thing I want to cover is how will you be remembered? Will you be remembered as a person who didn't participate in gossip at the workplace, who took the high road, who worked with um, the highest of ethical standards and integrity? That's what you want to be remembered for. The one who is honest, the one who fesses up when they make a mistake. I've had to do that right here. So don't hesitate to go into this if this is your true calling, but get let's get drilled down and get specific with why 
and what is your true calling within the paralegal career? What area of law? So I hope this was helpful. Be sure to watch the previous videos. This was number five and we have two more to go. So stay tuned for that, okay? Uh, first couple days of next week. Have a great day and I'll talk to you in video number six.